Hello everyone, this is going 77 here, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Half-Life 2. So last we left off, we had ourselves some more fun with the buggy here, driving along these main this main highway on, as we make our way onwards to Nova Prospect here. Also, got ourselves introduced to a couple of new things, like the roller mines that have been going about here. And it's another thing for us to have to watch out for. As well as uh, another chopper that we shot down on our way here. As it's probably another thing we're going to keep on encountering. So let's keep on going about here on our bike. Driving along these roads. Driving very unsafely, might I add. As we keep on making our way through. Now let's see what we have next. Can we move this out of the way with our, no, with our towel cannon? No, we cannot. So let's go back to use our... Good old gravity gun for this. Get you guys out of the way. Destroy you guys with some barrels. Oh, yeah, and not get blown up by them. Yes. They seem to have set up some more blockades for us to try and impede our progress. The combine here, as well as looking like some sort of uh, rock slide that is happening here as well. Yeah, it's not very good. I sure hope that uh, no rock slide happens on top of us and buries us alive. As we keep on driving along this highway here. Yeah, so it would definitely not be very good. But one can only hope for that not to happen, I guess. So let's just keep on going. Carefully make this, yep, and not go over the edge. That would be great. No, yeah, you can't, you can't bust through the railing too, fortunately. Because that would also not be very good if you <laughs> were able to do that and just fall off the cliff there. Can't imagine falling in the water would be very good for this buggy here, so just keep uh, on avoiding that. As well as, hey, looks like we found ourselves yet another new weapon here. Yes. And uh, it looks uh, clearly like a crossbow. As it looks like the crossbow has also made a return from the old game. But this time, it shoots giant... Ooh, yeah, giant smoldering red-hot bars of rebar. As you saw there, we're able to shoot and kill off that one guy there from a nice, long, safe distance. With our awesome new crossbow. Because, yeah, the crossbow is back, folks. And it's back better than ever. Definitely serve us well as we make keep it on making our way through. Now I think we've gotten pretty much all of the weapons now in the game at this point now. I think we're only just missing one or two now. As again, it's a little unfortunate how we don't have any of the crazy like energy weapons like the glue on gun that won't be making a return in this. As I think it was also the glue on gun that uh, they were going to put at some point in the development, but they decided to scrap that as well as the Tau Cannon, which is unfortunate, I will say. But uh, it's okay, we have a, a nice, cool new gravity gun to help us out, for sure. And even better, that the gravity gun doesn't have any actual ammo source that it has. Nope, the only ammo source is the environment itself, which is a plus. It's pretty nice, but uh, kill some of you guys with your own weapons here, your own roller mine. If not, then the barrel should work just as well. Yeah, just like that. Here, have a grenade. As they probably just walk away from the grenade, <laughs> walk away from the grenade as soon as I throw it at them. Oh well. But yeah, like I said, we've pretty much seen all the weapons now at this point. I think the only thing left now is the dark orbs for the pulse gun here that we still haven't collected yet. So we should be finding the piece. Just not quite yet, though. I mean, we still got our our grenade launcher for our machine gun here, which is still pretty good. Pretty effective. It gets the job done. But uh, with that being, with that in mind, we should still watch out that we don't use it up. And and uh, as uh, the ammo to come by for it is a bit scarce. We have one shot in yet. Yeah. Rather not least it right now. As opposed to the bullets, which seem to be a lot more plentiful. But, oh, hello there, roller mine. And if I take you and just eat you the fuck off the cliff there, just like that. Very good. 
I see what you got here. Some more health, some more ammo, the usual. Pretty good. As well as our crossbow having a pretty decent amount of ammo as well. But I think the ammo for the crossbow is pretty hard to come by as well, if I remember correctly, so let's not waste too much ammo for it either. I also like the ammo symbol for it is literally just a, a straight line. <laughs> this, is, this is the best way to represent these red hot glowing rebar sticks here. There's just one big long ass line. Huh? Ah, they're pretty funny. But let's see here. We seem to have ourselves a force field gate that the combine have set up, making it so we can't progress with our buggy. And we need to figure out how to deactivate this or turn it off or something. Let's see, I think uh, we might be able to destroy it. Let's see if it's got these uh, power cables attached to these towers. I wonder if that could be what's powering up the force field here. Yes. I wonder. So maybe if we take you out and attack you. Yep, there we go, just like that. And that should deactivate the force field now. Uh, yes, it sure did. Ah, nothing, that, nothing like a, a little problem for our gravity gun that will so that will fix. Very good. And so with that obstacle dealt with, now we can continue on more, even more. Yes, even more. Ah. I must say, I also like how this this buggy is structured. It's like all bare bones, just <laughs> frames. Pretty much just the skeleton of the buggy here. Probably something that they just built themselves or managed to salvage from an old vehicle. Pretty good. But hey, still works just just as well. Still works like a charm, I'd say. This good old buggy here. Especially how they managed to fit a, a tau cannon mounted onto it too. Which is good. Yeah, it's very much. Definitely help us out. But let's see. Uh, an empty room. All right, back on our bike we go. Or there, are buggy starts. <laughs> bike is. Imagine if we were ever driving around in a motorbike too. I mean, it would be pretty badass, but I guess a, a buggy would be better in this case. We probably wouldn't be able to fit a, a tow can and mount it onto a, a bike back. That's for damn sure. Oh, look at it. Just fucked that guy up. It just uh, went right through the window there. I don't know how I managed to do that, but okay. Well, let's see. Oh, that looks like a big bridge. Big, big bridge for us to go across. And yeah, I just got stuck up on by one of the enemies. That wasn't very fun, that was it. Oh, well. At least we have ourselves our nice checkpoint here. So it's just doing this part again. As well as, whoa, what is that? Looks like a, a dropship of some kind. Let's try to avoid that if we can. As we keep on making our way through here. It's on this bridge. Okay. There are you guys again. I know you're going to pop out of that corner any second. Yeah, yeah, I saw you there. I saw you. Come on now. Hey, come on now. Now he doesn't want to come out, okay? I see how it is. Fine. I'll do it. Fine. I'll do it myself then. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Yeah, that's what that's what you get for killing me. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, what the hell? Hello there. <laughs> that guy just uh, spawned right on top of me. Also, wasn't very nice. Okay, okay, obviously we're gonna have to be a little bit more careful. So if you watch out for the dropship. We'll just let it fly over the hill there. Yep, let it fly over. Alright, now we'll continue on from here. Okay, who else wants some? This. It's my buggy. It's my buggy. Okay, yeah, he's not gonna pop out again. Either be more smart about it this time around. Where's my gravity gun? We'll blow you up. 
Oh, no, no, it's just gonna get caught up in the doorway. Oh, that's fine too. That's fine too. Whoa, what uh, keeps on blowing me up here? Oh god, they're coming in. They're coming in with their reinforcements. Oh, they're throwing grenades, that's what it is. I see. Oh, hello there. Ah! Okay, alright. I see how it's going to be. In that case, the gloves are off. Yes. No more Mr. Nice Cats. And you and you, I'm going to be sure to take pleasure in killing all of you. Yes. All of you scumbags. Yes, that's right. No one is safe from the free man. Okay, okay. This time. Is first of all not crash. Get out of the buggy. We're gonna take care of this guy right around the corner here. You, yes, fuck you. As well as you. Okay, we're gonna hide in here. Let more of them come to us if we can. Just like that. And oh, oh, I see that. That's pretty nice. Just like in the first game, this crossbow is also able to pin your foes against the wall should they get killed against the wall or any hard surface, for that matter. Pretty cool, pretty entertaining to see it whenever it does happen. Just to have you pin the, the fuck out of the, your guys, your enemies against the wall is always entertaining to watch. As well as that. Uh, well, as well as pretty much using the gravity gun for anything, let's be real here. It's just, as yeah, it always is pretty hilarious to kill your enemies in new creative, funny ways with the gravity gun, I will say. Use the gravity gun. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I do see what the thing, the power of this gravity gun up with is those, that little glowing crystal thing, which is the same glowing crystal that we used in the very beginning of the first Half-Life game to push into the anti-mass spectrometer and start this whole conflict to begin with. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's the same crystal. I mean, if, if not, then uh, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's like a, a smaller shard of the same glowing crystal that's used to power up this very gravity gun. It's pretty cool. I guess that makes sense. Because it does glow with that sort of same color as that crystal. But yeah, so let's see if we have some more fun with our gravity gun here. Oh, what is this? Looks like a, a meat grinder of some kind. Can't use it, unfortunately. But oh well, let's see what they got up here. Oh, we're gonna have to uh, use something to boost us up. And you drop you and hopefully not get destroyed. Come on now. Oh, that did. <clears throat> It's actually pretty cool how they did that, with some some of the physics and some of the smaller objects made it so they will collapse if you try to go on top of them. Like you saw with that little coffee table or cabinet or whatever, and whoa, hello. Hey, how you doing? How you doing there, sir? There's another poison head crab zombie out of nowhere. We'll just take care of him now. And yeah, they do have so much health that they're able to actually survive one shot with crossbow there, but then die on the second shot, but yeah, just goes to show how much, how annoying those guys can be, but thankfully we were prepared, oh yes we were, yeah, yeah head crab, poison head crab, yeah, get out of here, you will not be poisoned me with your neurotoxin today, oh no no, okay, well let's see what else we can do here, it's like some Kind of abandoned shelter, if I were to guess. Uh, but nothing too spectacular otherwise. But I think this uh, might actually be it for our buggy adventures here. Yes, sad to see it all go so soon. As it's, uh, we are already having quite a lot of fun with this thing around. I don't know if we can be able to ride it, unless we can ride it on top of this bridge here. Oh, uh, okay, looks like it might be a little steep, steep for us. We'll go ahead and get our turbo ready. And go! Ha-ha! Ah, we did it. 
up on the bridge now, but, uh, oh, probably not going to be able to do anything since they have a force field here. Oh man. Well, ain't that a, uh, it's a chance. Not to being able to make it through because of another damn force field. That's not very good. I doubt we can do anything to blow it up either. Let's just see, just in case. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna do nothing. But yeah, as this part, which I do remember, is this big old bridge that we do have to make it across to get to where we're supposed to go. And through this bridge, you can imagine that we're gonna be running into some more trouble. Yes. Oh yes, more trouble that awaits us. So, I can only be excited, excited and looking forward to having that happen to us. Oh yeah, for sure. But, uh, let's just go ahead and make our way through these doors. Another loading screen. As, yeah, making our way through the big grand bridge. It's going to be pretty much how we're going to do most of it, is go not along the top of the bridge, but in, uh, underneath. Yeah, mostly underneath here. You can see we have a uh, sort of a pathway for us that's already done out with some destroyed catwalks and whatnot. And I think this is just to get back up if we were to fall down. So, yeah, do that. See if they got any secrets around here. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. Oh, well, we're checking. Just get back up here. And carefully make our way across. Yes. Across the bridge. And what do you know? We have some more of you guys hiding in the bridge here, too. Of course. Why should I not be surprised? <laughs> so, another thing for us to watch out for sure is some more barnacles. More barnacles underneath the bridge. Because they do like these sort of areas here, hiding underneath uh ceilings and in moist dark areas so yeah more barnacles and whoa hello hey how you doing <laughs> let me get rid of you yeah. oh did i kill you oh okay, yeah you're dead now all right it's a, it's a bit hard to tell with these head crabs whenever you kill them or not they just sort of they don't really have like a death animation or anything they just do uh, ragdoll a bit and yeah they just do that. I will say it is a bit confusing. But shouldn't be too bad. They are just head crabs after all. So let's see. Now just carefully make our way through here. I noticed there's some shaking going on. Don't really like that. Probably gonna throw us off a bit, I'd imagine. So it's just another thing for us to watch out for. Let's see. Uh, oh, seagull! Shoot! <laughs> ah, seagull. Damn seagulls, that'll teach to fly around in my airspace, my personal airspace here. Yeah, look at them all. Yeah, look at all these buggers. Yeah, kill all the birds. Yes, kill them all. The bastards. Flying rats, basically. Yeah, get rid of them. I mean, they are a little hard to hit. I will give them that, but still. Pretty much just a nuisance all around. The damn seagulls. Damn crows, seagulls, pigeons, whatever. They're all flying rats. I mean, they all are scavengers after all, so they do have... I'm uh, not, definitely not wrong about that. <laughs> but, uh, looks like we got ourselves some more company. Congratulations, we just actually use our crossbow. We did pick up more ammo for it anyways. And just like in the first game, this also does have a scope for us to use, which is pretty good. Help us make those long-range shots, no problem. Oh, damn, that really fucked up that barnacle, didn't it? Kill you before you have a chance to duck back into cover. And just keep on making our way through here. Yes. Keep on treading carefully along this this bridge here, is that is, whoa, 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 yeah, just as I see that, a head crab almost pushed me off, now bastards, get out of it, alright, alright, uh, I don't know, are we here at the end of the bridge here, oh, looks like we are, okay, so just be careful as we make our way towards the end of the bridge, 
Yes, Le Grand Bridge. Just uh, carefully make our way down. Hopefully not slip and fall. And uh, yeah, just a little bit more. We should be able. Yeah, we should be able to make that jump from here. Yes. Okay, we did. Good. Because yeah, it's thanks to the combine having the entire top half of the bridge secured and barricaded and blockaded up. Still won't hurt us to go down through under the underneath way. Yes, take the scenic route. As that we know that that has never failed us before. Yes, very good. Let's see, where are we getting near the end? Yep, right on to the other side over there. So just figure out uh, where we go from here. Uh, okay, I did see another, yeah, another doorway. Through this way. Here we go. Hey, hello. Oh, it's an ambush. Yep. Seems that they've been expecting me for sure. Other than the obvious barricade that they placed on top of the bridge. Some more ready to ambush me right there. Including you. Yes. Yes, down you go into the water. Aha. A strike again. Oh, we're going to pull our shotgun for this part. We're going to get up. Up and close and personal like that. Did you, how do you survive a shot up close like that? Yeah, it must be the armor or something. Because, yeah. Kinda, kinda funny how he managed to survive a, a close range shot with the shotgun there. But thankfully, you know, still too much for us to handle. As, oh, yeah, yeah, they're up there too. I, sh I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Oh, no, oh, no, ah. Yeah, they're a little quick. They're a little quick for me that time. I will say they were a little quick for me. They're me getting old and my reflexes starting to fade away and get slower and slower. As more more time presses on, I lose more energy. Yeah, just all the many joys of getting old, I guess. No, I'm not that old yet. I don't. Think, at least I'd like to think that I'm not. But anyways. Not talk about my age anymore. And just keep on making our way through here. Try to I did notice they tried to push those barrels down. It's not very nice. Uh, is there anything? Was, I remember. Was there anything you're supposed to do with all this stuff on the catwalk? No. I guess not. All right. All right. Let's just try again here as we go about. Snipe this guy. Watch, we're gonna snipe him right here. Ooh, aha. Very nice. Oh, we got him pinned to the railing too. That's funny. Aha. Okay, we pull out our shotgun as we get ready to take these guys out. Coming out from around the corner here. Any second. Here they come. Here they come. Get him. Okay. And get you. boom. Aha. I got them. I got them with my good old trusty boomstick. Use my boomstick. All oh, right. I forgot. The, like in the first game, this also does have the secondary fire function of using two grenades or not grenades, uh, shotgun shots at a time for extra damage. Yes. Extra damage. There. Oh yeah. No, you were never going to shoot that down. Very good. See, my memory did serve me correctly. That's very nice. But not nice that I did see they got a, uh, more, a more soldiers awaiting for me around the corner here. As well as a force field. Yeah, force field right here. Now with this force field, I think we get the gravity gun. Yeah, we got the gravity gun to deactivate it and make our way through here now. And what do you know, we got ourselves a healing station as well as a uh, one of these combine charger things. I forget what they're called, but yeah. I'm just going to sap all the electricity, all the energy out of it to suit our own needs. Press U. And looks like we got uh, another force field deactivated, if I were to, if I were to guess. So let's just go on out. We got out here. There's some uh, oh beer bottles. Nice. Just, uh, throw a beer bottle. Yeah. Seems 
and some combine or someone was uh, drinking on the job around here. Uh, been finding all these empty beer bottles around. Well, they could be wine bottles for all I know too, but uh, yeah, they look like more like beer bottles. Uh, hey, oh oh, looks like we uh, we attracted some more unwanted attention by doing that. We got ourselves some more company here. Another chopper. All right, chopper. Time to take you out. Alright, here's should be down with our rocket launcher. Oh, we're out of ammo. That's not good. Yeah, okay, so yeah, it's definitely not good since they don't give you enough ammo to deal with these choppers. Not even your max ammo is enough to take one out. As we did, we, we shot him three times and it's still going around. But I think it is smoking now. Actually, uh, not even that. Not even that. Okay, yeah. Definitely gonna need some more rockets. Ah, uh, rockets. Where are the rockets? Oh god! Ah! Stop it, you! Yes. Oh! I don't like the sound of that. He's destroying the bridge. He's destroying, he's destroying it so we can't make it through. Ah, oh, that clever bastard. Those fiends. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. It's just, uh... Take cover in our sh within our shelter of our bridge here. Come on, you. And yeah, no, no, not really good. I need more rockets. Oh, they're back there. They're back there. Okay. I see. What it is. So just a little bit of backtracking then. We go ahead and pick up these rockets and not get shot at too many times. And yeah, where are they? There they are. All right. Okay, chopper. There. All make up. Yes, all make up. In the form of pocket. And that's that chopper dealt with. Yeah, good riddance. Ah. There you go, have fun in the water below. Okay, so that's that dealt with. Oh, be sure to pick up that health. And we can now, should be all good in making our way to the end of the big bridge here. It's the Grand Bridge. Uh, yeah, yeah, this, uh, this way I'm pretty sure. This, they go anywhere. So, clear. Careful not to fall or get knocked over by a head crab or whatever, too. That would also be good. As, yeah, should be this section done. Or pretty close, at least. The Grand Bridge. I remember I got stuck on this part back when I first time I played through this game. As I did, <laughs> it took me a while to figure out what I'm supposed to do exactly, even after the backtracking. And I think uh, even using the gravity gun to pull that plug to uh, get to deactivate that force field there, I was just pretty stumped on what to do for a while actually. But uh, I figured it out after a while. And I mean, and because of that, I was on this section of the game for longer than I should have been, probably. But, you know, whatever. It's all good. You know, it's not it's not always uh, a good, it's not truly always a good first playthrough if you're always stumped on a couple of parts, am I right? But yeah, um, let's see. I think we may need to go actually all the way back and up onto the surface of the bridge, so if that's the case, we might actually have to do some more backtracking real quick here. Cause yeah, uh, I think there is a other way onto the other side from down here. Yes, yeah, not really. Okay, well, you know what that means. Going back. Yes, going back. I'm pretty sure that's uh, what we have to do. I'm sure that's what caused the uh, the helicopter to spawn in anyways. So, let's just make our way back now. I mean, we'll know that we are going the right way for sure if there's going to be more enemies spawning in. And there always usually is a dead giveaway. That's usually how it works here. Uh, we need to climb up now. Because I think that was also the part that I got stuck on was... <laughs> Figuring out that I'm actually supposed to go back after I've deactivated the big force field on top of the bridge. 
As a, uh, I just got, I just got was stuck on this big ass bridge area for a while altogether. Really, I do remember it being a bit of a pain, but it's also pretty fun. So you know, there's that too. Yeesh. Okay, jump on you. Pretty good for health now, and yeah, we just make our way back. Make our way back. Get the ladder. Yes. Aha. Very good. It's, uh, this way. And now, with that force field deactivated, or at least I'm hoping it is deactivated, just go back up and. Whoa, hello. Yep, we're seeing more enemies. Now we know for sure that we are doing that. We are going the right way. There, if you go to the shotgun, you're gonna do a little dance with your rag doll. It's also very good, very entertaining. And whoa, we got some more uh, ant lions as well. Oh, hello, ant lions. Just don't mind me making my way through here. Just gonna run along the edge up through this way. Thankfully, they got this little path underneath the abandoned house, the abandoned seaside house that they got here. As well as more enemy reinforcements. Yes, take them out now. Kill them. Kill them now! Destroy them! Crush their will to live! Yes! Burn them to death! Burn this motherfucker to the ground! Very good. I saw one more of you guys. Where'd you go? Where are you hiding at? Get over here so I can uh, hit you with my tire. Yes, you. There you are. There, yeah, have some tire. Oh, no, not interested. Well, then have another one. <laughs> These tires are not okay. They're not very good. They're not very good. Okay. That's good to know. Oh, well. But at least now that should be that deactivated. We should be all good and clear to cross to the other side of the bridge now, right? Yes, right. Ah, we're good. So, let's just go ahead and go in our back into our buggy to cross the bridge. But. Unfortunately, we're going to be doing that in the next episode, because that's pretty much all the time we have for today. So, that being said, let's go ahead and save our game after we kill off some very rude ant lines trying to interrupt me and my I'm about to do my outro and all that. Yes, how very rude. So let's save over you. And, oh, yeah, another one. They're coming. We just keep on coming, it seems. And kill you. Alright. Hopefully that's them dealt with. Because, yeah, looking a little short for time now, folks. It's a little short for time, so we'll save over you as well and end it off here. So, with that being said, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you like the video as well as the only ones that I upload on here, then don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, as I upload videos almost every day. So, be sure to hit that bell and get those juicy notifications. Be sure to stay tuned for next time. Forget to some more Let's Play Half-Life 2. So, finally, this is Endemic Wayne 77 Signing off. And as always, take care, everyone. Goodbye.